Just about every story we do here really strains the limit of credibility. That's why we do so many videos. I'm not asking you to believe me. I'm just asking you to watch the video and tell me what you think. So, for example, today's story. If I told you there is a girl in Wisconsin, a high school girl, a very popular high school girl, who was killed by her stalking ex-boyfriend, a fella, a white girl killed by her ex-black boyfriend in Kenosha, Wisconsin, in the middle of nowhere, Wisconsin. If I told you that, it would be like, okay, uh, you know, that happens, Colin. That's not that unbelievable. That's why I usually put a story like that in with a lot of others, just to show the pattern. But what if I told you that the school has refused to let her classmates honor her at a football game where she was a cheerleader last year because they're not going to, because the honor, when they, when they do the ceremony, they're not going to honor at the same time the person who killed her. If I told you that, would you believe me? I wouldn't. Watch this. More than a week since 15-year-old Kaylee Juga was shot and killed in her family's Kenosha home. Her accused killer is now behind bars, but the community is still grieving. Fox 6's Casey Cronus joins us live where visitation services are currently underway. Casey. Ted and Mary, there has been a nonstop show of support from the community since well before the visitation started at 2 this afternoon. Still, I'm told the mood inside is very sad as family and loved ones are just beginning to heal after this senseless loss. Hand in hand, friends and loved ones are saying their goodbyes. Kaylee was my best friend. 15-year-old Kaylee Juga's death bringing hundreds of people to Piasecki Funeral Home Monday. I'm going to miss her so much. Just steps away, Kaylee was a sophomore at Bradford High School, where Jennifer DeZoma says she was friendly to everyone. She could just walk up the room and light it up. I mean, she would make everyone smile. It was amazing. An honor roll student, an athlete, and varsity cheerleader, Kaylee's life was cut short on May 9th. It was definitely different without her. Police say Kaylee's ex-boyfriend, 15-year-old Martise Fuller, entered her family's home, shooting and killing Kaylee and injuring her mother, Stephanie. They're getting a lot of help and a lot of support. This has got to be a brutal time for them. Community members who did and did not know Kaylee personally are now supporting the family. I remember the day that him and his wife uh, brought his daughter in when they went to the armory. Chuck Smith served in the army with Kaylee's father, Nicholas. They were very proud parents. Described as having a zest for life. Kaylee's life will not be forgotten. Just keep smiling. We know that she's watching over us. <clears throat> Packets of seeds like this one were being handed out during the visitation. On the envelope, it asks community members to plant them in hopes that when these flowers bloom, they'll remember Kaylee's life. Now, what a group of Kenosha cheerleaders wanted to do was honor their friend who was brutally killed. Instead, Kenosha, Kenosha Unified School District said not so fast. Fox 6's Suzanne Spencer live in Kenosha with the reason why. Hi, Stefan Ben. Yeah, the cheerleaders at Kenosha Unified wanted to honor Kaylee Juga at Friday's football game. The district actually sought legal advice on this matter, decided that they aren't really going to say much more than a statement, but those who knew and loved Kaylee Juga are not staying quiet. The loss of 15-year-old Kaylee Juga is still very real to those who knew and loved her. Their daughter is gone and she's never coming back. Teresa Munns knows the Juga family and knows they were looking forward to a Friday night football game at Bradford High School. The cheerleaders planning a night in blue honoring Juga's life, who was shot and killed in May. I don't see what the harm is and some girls doing a cheer with some pictures and a moment of silence. On Tuesday, Kenosha Unified School District released a statement saying the district will remain neutral, not approving any memorials or acknowledging anyone because it would be legally required to do so for all students involved. It's the reason Kaylee's friends showed up to Tuesday's school board meeting. This game is Friday and it meant so much to just so many people. She touched so many people's lives and it was supposed to finally be a thing where we all come together and like remember her and they took it away. District officials said it cannot give such attention to one student without allowing it for both. 
both is in reference to the teen accused in her death, Martise Fuller, who is Juga's ex-boyfriend. Prosecutors said he stalked Judah before allegedly killing her and was removed from school for threatening her. They wanted to dedicate the game to her because this is a tragedy and they're a large part of our community. They're a military family that gives up their time and their lives to fight for our freedom every day. And this is what they get in return. School officials won't prevent students from showing their support, but where they can step in is when a student is acting in an official capacity like a cheerleader. Fewer than a dozen of Kaylee's friends, including some cheermates, showed up to the school board meeting tonight at Indian Trail asking for more explanation about why Friday can't go on as planned. But at tonight's meeting, the school board could not offer more explanation because of legal reasons. As for the suspect accused in Juga's death, he pleaded not guilty and is due back in court next month. I don't know how things could get any more topsy-turvy in this country. Now we have to honor the killers along with the perps. Not the first time we've seen this. I remember the first time I saw it, it was in Philadelphia. There was a, a fella killed a cop, and he in turn was killed by other cops. So the fella's family showed up at the funeral home, the funeral service for the cop, demanding to be let in because they were victims too. Please, sir, I want some more. They lost somebody too, so they want to be part of it, just like the perpetrators and the victims were all just equal actors in this little drama called life, where above all, the number one stage direction is, do not make the black kids angry.